Its official designation is Saturn V. The largest single object man has ever attempted to lift off the face of the Earth. It stands as tall as a 36-story building. This is the monster rocket that ultimately will place men on the moon. All that size and power is needed to combat gravity and get off the ground. Houston flight now confirms that they are that they are go for the flight as are all other aspects of the mission. We've had an excellent countdown thus far and there are no problems at the present time. 90 seconds and counting. T-minus 60 seconds and counting. We have transferred to internal power. T-minus 30 seconds and counting. T minus 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Ignition sequence start. 5, 4, we have ignition. All engines are running. We have liftoff. We have liftoff at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The tower has been cleared. The NBC observation booth is literally being shaken apart. Our tape recorders are being thrown to the floor by the roar of this mighty rocket as it continues to climb into the sky on its seven and a half Our million pounds of breath. It is a beautiful sight, an unbelievable sight. Look at that rocket go into the clouds at 3,000 feet. vibrate and your desk lift and your body thunder with the vibration from that rocket going could you sense the excitement there's just never been anything like it that rocket goes off with quite a blast and we may have to give some reconsideration to uh, just what we build here at the press site. We need a blockhouse, uh, not a uh, uh, cottage as we have here now for our studio. The spacecraft is now well into its first revolution around the Earth and a star flight well underway. For NASA and for America's space program, you can say, oh, what a beautiful morning this has been.